Gold medal game in the men's tournament of the ANOC World Beach Games here in Katara Beach, Doha. The fans are loving it. We have a great atmosphere and two teams who's going to give all they have down there on the court. Brazil with Wierman, De Souza, Fabricio, and Parcial will face Russia with Ramov, Abramovsky, Bernikov, and Chepur. Brazil won 18 to 10 in the quarterfinals against uh, Slovenia, and then they defeated Ukraine in the semifinals, 14 to 13. Russia had a tough game in the quarterfinals against the Ivory Coast, winning that 17 to 15, and then they destroyed Mongolia, 21 to 8. In a very one-sided one semi-final, nobody expected that. And we are underway with the gold medal game at the World Beach Games. Parcial with the first possession of the game for Brazil shoots over Cheburkin, misses that shot. And Cheburkin grabs the rebound. Abramovsky, he is driving and he draws the, the foul. First team foul against uh, Brazil. A little talk between the referee and the players. Probably too many bumping, shoving, grabbing, stuff like that. Usual stuff. Abramovsky lets it fly from outside. Rebound goes uh, to Fabricio. Branquinho. And the post. Tough fade away, comes up short, but there is Fabrizio with the offensive rebound. He misses the shot, gets it back, puts it up, still no good. And now Bernico finds Cheburkin. Cheburkin here, kicks it in the corner. Eight ball to the corner pocket, yes sir. Vasily Bernico playing some great pool game right here on the court. Fabrizio. Branquinho with a hand in his face right between the eyes of Dimitri Cheburkin. This is Abramovsky. Abramovsky now puts up the ball and he drops it in. Fabricio gives it up to Branquinho. Parcial down low. Parcial turns and he is fouled by Bernikov. Fabricio is a big fellow and he will do all he can to bring the W for his team and bring the gold medals uh, to Brazil. But he misses a free throw here, so Russia stays on top. Ramov against Parcial, fights Cheburkin. Cheburkin gets in the paint, puts it up and that will drop. 
Once again, Dmitry Chipurkin muscling his way to the rim. This is uh, Arcial, and now we have an offensive foul. Too much power this time. But he extended that elbow, obviously. So that was an easy call for the ref. Abramovsky through the screen, the lob pass inside, and that's a turnover for the Russian Federation. Lierman stops the dribble. Fabricio gives it in the corner. Branquinho puts it up and puts it in. Bullseye for Branquinho. Fabricio was trying to save that ball for Russia, for uh, Brazil, but Russia got it back. And then Dmitry Chaburkin was fouled on his way to the rim. Once again, that tough shot. I think Chaburkin also fouled. Branquinho on that shot. No call though. It has to be more obvious in 3x3 basketball for the refs to call it. Abramovsky misses it from beyond the arc and then we have a foul against uh, Brazil. Team foul number four. Once again, a foul against Brazil. They have to stay away from those silly fouls because they are only one foul away from getting into the penalty. And that can be really costly. Chaburkin pulls the trigger. Bam! Two more points from Dmitry Chaburkin. This is Fabrizio avoiding the block and going straight to the rim. Ramo. Stops the dribble, back to Cheburkin. Three seconds on the shot clock, and Cheburkin and Bernikov were not on the same page. Cheburkin thought he has uh, Bernikov wide open on the wing, but actually Bernikov was going in the paint. Once again, the double from Cheburkin moments ago. Brazil with the ball. Branquinho going straight to the rim and getting the pocket for his team. Tied at six with seven minutes left. Abramovsky lowering his shoulder, kicks it out, Bernico for two. And that's a shot clock violation, the ball did not touch the rim. Brazil wanted a foul. There's nothing new here with the Brazilian players, they're complaining on almost every single play. Is there style? I know. And we have a TV timeout with uh, six minutes and 47 seconds. Actually, we should have had a TV timeout, but looks like the refs forgot about it. They will probably bring it a little moments later. For now, we have a traveling violation, and yeah, now they realized uh, they had to give the teams uh, that timeout when we are under seven and we are under four. But the first stoppage of the game, automatically, both teams get what it is called a TV timeout. That's why they're making that sign because the camera is rolling. And both teams are rolling so far here in the final. Look at that shot from Branquinho. Two shots straight between the eyes of Cheburkin. This was the second one. 6-6. Six, six. Abramovsky with the coconut at the top of the arc. Gives it to Hramov. Hand off to Abramovsky. The shot clock down to three. The bounce pass inside. Hramo puts it up. And Parcial boxes out Abramovsky, who is called for a foul. Team foul number two against uh, the Russian Federation. Fabrizio. Branquinho. Stops, pops. There's the rebound by uh, Fabricio with Partial's help. Partial now in the post and he will not get it. Fabricio can tip it in, gets back the rebound. Brazil is crashing the glass so far. 
And that's a kick ball against Abramovsky. So a fresh shot clock for the South American team. Yeah, Abramovsky was uh, probably thinking about uh, the football World Cup that Russia hosted a year ago. Fabrizio now misses that shot. Ramov gives it to Abramovsky. Abramovsky here, tough shot. And the rebound goes to Fabrizio, Brankini. Fabrizio. Fabrizio trying to create some contact. And that will be team foul number three against uh, Russia. Five minutes and 38 seconds left. Still tied at six. Fabrizio with a chance to put his team up by one. And he gets it. Chivurkin lost his balance. I think that was a slippery point on the court. And uh, Chivurkin just fell down. Yep. He's going to take a seat on the bench. Branquinho. Parcia. The law pass inside, but there was nobody home. Ramov, Abramovsky behind the back, and that is a foul against Brazil. Last foul to give. From now on, every foul will be penalized with two shots for Russia. Let's see if the Russian Federation can take advantage. Ramov, Cheburkin. Chiburkin now with the ball, puts it up, and it is good. Tough for Branquinho to defend him. And now Fabrizio is going straight to the rim and getting some payback. Give me that. Chiburkin, the dance, and the foul. I think Branquinho has more issues with Chiburkin than New York Times right now. And Chaburkin will go to the free throw line for two shots. We welcome you all. Stay with us. First one, nothing but net. Dimitri Chaburkin, the leading scorer of Russia in this tournament. Sinks them both, and Russia takes the lead. Fabricio. Parcial in the post, and that's a foul. That was a mismatch, and uh, Hramov knew that. That's why he fouled Parcial. But Russia still with uh, two fouls to give. Vierman. Parcial back to Vierman with a hand in his face. Abramovsky collects the rebound. Now Cheburkin on the move, and he lays it in. It's going to be very tough for Brazil from now on, especially in the penalty against this guy. Vierman, step back G for two, money. Huge shot by Vierman. Stopping a three nothing run for, uh, actually a four nothing run for Russia. And now with three seconds left on the shot clock, Russia will get the ball back from uh, the 3x3 logo. Once again, that two pointer for Vierman, Abramovsky. Driving, puts it up, then get the friendly roll. Viermont. Branquinho. Two pointer for Viermont again. He is starting to get red hot from the court. I have my phone ready to call the firefighters, but meanwhile, Chiburkin delivers. And Ivan Ramov. Finishes that saying, excellent room service, Mr. Chiburkin. That's a foul against Brazil. So that will give Russia two more shots after the TV timeout. Three minutes and 41 seconds left until the end of the ball game. Final game in the men's tournament. 
Osmin Padrescu here with you with the call. I hope you're having a good time on the Olympic Channel. And I hope you are enjoying the 3x3 basketball action. I have to come back with you with something. Uh, actually, the last foul was not against Brazil. It was against Russia. Team foul number five. Vierman from outside. Okay. Firefighter department. We don't need you yet. Two-pointer here for Russia. And Abramovsky knocks it down. What a cold-blooded shot from Daniel Abramovsky. Not wasting any time on that possession. Branquinho for two. It rims out, but there is Parcial with a grown man rebound. And we have a three seconds violation against uh, Alexandre Parcial. Once again, that two pointer from uh, Abramovsky. Cheburking now with a rock. He will post Fabricio. Gives it outside. Two pointer missed this time by Hramov. Fabricio down low to Parcial, who is missing the up and under, and then he obviously fouls Abramovsky. Parcial is complaining, but he was complaining all tournament long. He wanted a foul here, so let's, let's watch that again. Actually, that's only the last part of the play. Team foul number eight against Brazil, so that means uh, Brazil once again penalized with uh, two shots and Abramovsky makes the first one can he make it a two possession game one more shot for him here misses the second one Fabricio with a board Parcial and that's a fault against Russia last fault to give for the Russian Federation so from now on both teams are over the limit Vierman, Branquinho looks for Vierman in the corner, puts it up, and that's a technical foul for flopping against William Vierman. He wanted to fool the referee and act like he was fouled. So the tech will send Abramovsky at the free throw line, shooting another one. And he puts it in. Russia with the ball. Two and a half to go. Abramovsky from outside. Misses that shot. Gets the ball back. Chiburkin. And Bernico finds the bottom of the net with that layout. This is Parcial in the post, and this time the foul is against Russia. So Russia now over the limit, and uh, Parcial will go to the free throw line for two shots here. First one goes in. If he makes them both, we have a one possession game. Two out of two for Parcial. The stakes cannot be higher than this for these two teams. Gold medal game, Russia 16, Brazil 14. Dimitri Chiburkin with the rock. Keeps it, keeps it, going to work in the post and she is shaking and baking. Delicious. Fabricio losing his defender on the way to the rim. And adding another point for uh, Brazil. Chiburkin. Three seconds on the shot clock. He lets it fly. Bang! Dimitri Chiburkin with a cold blooded shot. And Russia is up by four. Parcial scores. Russia can win the tournament here. Abramovsky misses the two pointer. Branquinho. Intercepted by Russia. Ramo for the win. The game goes on. The ball goes to Chiburkin. Can Chiburkin be the hero for the Russian Federation? 
he hands off the rock to Abramovsky. Back to Hramov, puts it up, way up. And the shot clock expires. Looks like that ball did not touch the rim. And Brazil calls for a timeout. One minute and 14 seconds until the end of the ball game. Russia 19, Brazil 16. If Russia hits two more points, then they win this game. But Brazil gets the possession here. Branquinho, hand off to Vierman. Vierman in the paint, lays it up and puts it in. Abramovsky to Hramov. Intercepted by Fabricio. Fabricio splits the defense, kicks it out. Branquinho for two. Rolls out after taking the rust out of the iron. He gets it back, puts it up, still no good. Back to Branquinho, Fabricio with the left hand, and we have a one point ball game. Crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. Dmitry Chepurkin on the drive, stops, spins, pops and drops. Branquinho back to Fabricio, and Fabricio steps out of bounds. Dimitri Chiburkin asking for a timeout. Russia can win it on the next possession. 20 to 18 is the score right here. If Russia hits a one pointer, they reach it 21 points, and that will do it. Cannot be more dramatic than this. This is what 3x3 basketball is all about. And I am more than happy that Anok decided to bring 3x3 basketball to the World Beach Games. Dmitry Chaburkin with the ball for Russia. Chaburkin going to work, puts it up, misses the shot. Brazil still has a pulse. Parcial in the paint, puts it up. And we have a one-point ball game yet again. No timeouts left for either team. Abramovsky with the ball. 20 to 19, 15 seconds left. Abramovsky trying to milk the clock first. Abramovsky for the win. In and out. Brazil still has a chance. Fabrizio for the win. Too strong. And we have a foul here against the Brazil. A foul that will send Dimitri Chepurkin at the free throw line. Russia is celebrating already, but the game is not over yet. Dimitri Chepurkin will have one shot to finish this game at 21. They already announced the winner, but uh, this is wrong. So Chaburkin going to the free throw line. He's gonna hit two shots and they should add some more time on the clock or maybe not. No, actually there's no time on the clock. Dimitri Chaburkin looking for point number 21 and he hits it. Acting like the Terminator and saying, hasta la vista, baby. 21 to 19 is the final score. So the Russian Federation wins the 3x3 men's tournament at the 2019 ANOC World Beach Games in Katara Beach, Doha. And they will go back home with the most precious piece of jewelry hanging on their neck. Celebration starts for Russia. Brazil must be proud with their performance. They have reached the final and they had a shot to win it with that uh, Fabricio two-pointer at the end. But Russia is the best team in the tournament. So France in the women's competition and Russia in the men's tournament.
are the winners of the 2019 ANOC World Beach Games here in Katara Beach. This is Kodvin Petrescu. It was a pleasure for me to be your host here on the Olympic Channel. And don't forget that uh, the award ceremony is coming up next here at the 3x3 Basketball Arena.